industry participants from around the world have been eager to see what the playing field will look like. The government's memorandum is focused on the 3,126 megawatt gas to power program. Our request for qualification is almost done. Um, we need to take it through an pr approval process um, and that usually goes to the department and they, is, they approve what we are doing and then it goes to the market. So we hope to hit the market by end of October, beginning of November. Potential foreign investors have been waiting for details, mostly due to the success of the other renewable energy programs. A great deal of sense. I mean, gas to power in combination with renewable, as mentioned, has proven to work in many other markets. And the aspect of opening up a local gas market, we think, is a very compelling argument. South Africa is also keen to ensure that it works closely with its neighbours. Regional integration has been one of our key objectives as well. And this bodes well for you know, uh, our uh, interconnection with the likes of, of Mozambique, given the regional um, gas uh, potential out there. Choosing the right infrastructure is an important consideration. Initially, the country will import gas, but this could change if viable gas is discovered locally. If we have got our own gas later, we don't want to sit with stranded assets. We would rather go with um, the, the marine base facilities. If then later we find that we have got our own gas, those facilities can, can sail away at the point in time and we can have liquefaction and export. I mean, that would be wonderful. Now that the plan has been unveiled, the real work of developing proposals begins. Ultimately, though, the country and the people will benefit. I'm Angelo Coppola for CCTV in Cape Town, South Africa.